Hi there, my name's John, one of the product managers here at Outpost24, and I'm responsible for the uh, network security side of things here. So what I'm going to do today is give you a little introduction to some of the simple views we can create in Power BI using the vulnerability scanning data from Outpost24. Um, so one of the things that I, I get told about a lot by customers, and they like to mention to me, is the whole idea of analytics and visualizing data. Uh, yeah, when you run a vulnerability scan, we all know we get a lot of data. Sometimes it's nice to see that data if you're a person like me who likes to kind of work with data and uh, have the numbers there. But sometimes you just need to visualize it to me to have it make some sense. So what I've done is put together a really basic dashboard here just to give us a, a bit of an idea. And this covers a few of the little topics that I'm going to be covering over the coming weeks. Um, so simple things like putting your country information in there so that you can look at your risks per country, um, looking at your most vulnerable vulnerable hosts, so whether that's the ones with the most high risks or the ones overall that are most vulnerable. Um, geographically, looking at that on a nice little map, so you can kind of see the, the size of the pie charts change based on the number of risks that are in there. The total number of risks, always important to know what your complete risk is. Um, and simple things that sometimes are useful to some people, some some not. So it's always good to have the, the option available and show you how to create those. So um, I've spoken to a customer before. One of the things they really liked was the idea of being able to see their total CVSS score. Um, you know, for some people, that's that's a really good metric. For others, it's not really how they want to work with the data. So one of the things I've created is the total CVSS score and then we'll see in a second how that changes when we're looking at specific data. So let's jump in and have a quick look at how, how I'm working with uh, Power BI and how I created this. And then over the coming weeks I'll, I'll go through the fundamentals of getting the data out of um, the Outpost24 platform, importing it into Power BI, creating some of the basic graphs that you see here and then we'll get into some more advanced topics like using the uh, Outpost24 API to actually get the data and have a dashboard based on that data so that it's more up to date, it's not something you have to manually keep doing. So. What's the useful thing? Your boss comes up to you on a Friday afternoon. You want to go and have some coffee, maybe some beers with your friends. But unfortunately, he wants some answers. And you're like, oh, I've got to go into you know, the product. I've got to go and look at the data, export the data. But what if you've got that data there? So you've run your vulnerability scan. You've imported that into, uh, into Power BI. And you've got some data here to look at. So, yeah, he wants to know, John. Tell me how Australia's doing. They were pretty bad on their high risk, so I want you to show me how they're doing now. You can go in here, click on Australia. There we go. It summarized. Well, you know, if we look at last month, uh, their high risks totaled 290 CVSS. Now they're 207. So, you know, they've improved. They're not amazing, but they've got a little bit better. Um, we can see overall in our entire estate that we're scanning on here, the, the 15 hosts that I've scanned, you can see what percentage of those high risks here actually belong to Australia. Um, we can see actually there's only one host in Australia. So looking again over in the other corner, we can see that that one host has the most high risks by a considerable volume. And those risk, that risk has been going up. So it's given me a way to actually focus into that data and kind of give pretty exact answer to say, well, that one host that we scanned in Australia, still pretty vulnerable, but it's not as vulnerable as it was. And it's still kind of giving me nightmares at night. So you can drill down into the data like that and you'll see all the, the numbers dynamically change, which is really nice. So let's look at the US. Yeah, I'm bound to have more hosts in the US. So if I now go down to the US side of things, looking at the high risks in the US, much lower CVSS score across the board there, but I am scanning two hosts. We look at the donut graph over here, I can then see that actually it's a very small percentage of my high risks uh, are actually in the US. And I can look over here at the two hosts and say, okay, those those are pretty small amounts. Um, I'm not too worried about those, they're, they're a lot better. Um, again, I can then look at historical data if I've got that. Um, and the other one is this, this one I've got in the corner is the risks by date. So I can scroll along here and see how my risks have changed over time. So we can see I started out with a lot of risks, you know, some sort of thing. And they're a bit up, bit down, added some new hosts, a number of hosts have changed. 
So what would be a nice thing is if maybe we plotted the number of hosts on this graph so we could actually have an idea, okay, my risks have gone up and down a little bit, but then maybe so did my hosts. So that's something that we should explore at a later date, maybe adding that data into the visuals as well. But as we go along, we can see that our hosts of our risks have gone from way over 500 to, you know, everything's quite low now, gone much lower. Um, you know, we can look at things by changing the scale of the graph so we can actually zoom in on that a little, that bit, a little bit more. So that's just an overview of some of the data that we can we can look at in Power BI and some of the simple visuals to answer some of those important questions that you're going to get asked. So that's just an overview of some of the ways we can visualize really simple amounts of data. So I'm only looking at the data from 15 different hosts here. But as you can see, I can uh, I can create some quite simple visuals quite a big impact based on those visuals but they're really simple to do and just visualize that data in a way that actually I wanted to see rather than you know the way that somebody's telling you you should see it um, so we'll get a bit more over the next coming weeks and uh, get a bit more detail about how we can create these um, how we can focus these onto the information that helps us solve our problems and make sure we can you know leave work on time on a Friday afternoon thank you very much for listening